I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to take that super A-line, super simple pattern that's two pieces, one in the front and the back, and turn it into one with a cute little waistband on it. Super easy to do. You'll wonder why you haven't been sewing these all along. They're fun, they're easy, they're casual, and just like the A-line pattern, you can change the length. I love down to the floor almost drag it on the ground, but you can make it T-length, you can make it short, you can make it sassy, you can do whatever you want with that comfortable little band, and you won't have that pinch of the elastic that some people don't like. If you're looking for something really easy that looks a little more complicated that everybody's wearing right now, this is the pattern for you. So in this one where I'm showing you how to uh, take the A-line skirt but add a band on the top instead of elastic. I really don't like elastic. I'm not a fan of it on myself. Um, it definitely works and does the job. Some people like it, but I like this particular one um, with the wider band. This one is, let's see, three inches tall. So um, we're going to go ahead and start off with the base A-line pattern that um, I already showed you how to make, or you can buy one at the store, and then we'll just modify it. Um, so on this pattern, you have room for a hem on the bottom. Uh, so you've measured how, how you want the hem to be. Do you want it to be an inch, half inch, whatever you want. Um, just remember what it's going to look like from the front. Uh, super, super uh, easy thing to do. I personally like work, this is with a cotton jersey, but it has to be something that's stretched. There's polys that stretch. Um, not a problem at all um, using anything that stretches. So we have that base pattern here, and we know that we want to change the top piece um, instead of being elastic. Now remember when it's elastic, you have fabric folded over, which we've allowed for on here. We've allowed for an inch of elastic. So I'm going to go ahead to make my, well, let's leave that there and I'll show you why. Um, so now you don't include that when you measure down. So we are going to have a three inch band, but I'm going to just put a dot for that three inch. Now, we're going to need to add some seam allowance to that going up from the top. So, we're not including the elastic, and we're going down one or three inches. But now we need to go back up. You can use a half inch, quarter inch. It all depends on what you like to use. I suggest a half inch when you are using a regular straight stitch machine because um, three-fourths of an inch that some people use is way, you end up with a lot of fabric underneath. But if you're using an overlock, you want to use probably about a quarter of an inch. I would measure your overlock for that. So basically, we're going to ma uh, measure this at two and three-fourths because um, in case you're using an overlock. Now, I'm also going to measure it at two and a half because I'm actually going to show you how to make this on a regular stitch machine because so many people don't have an uh, overlock machine. And you're going to do the same over here, two and a half. Now you're going to draw that line straight across. Now the reason we're going to do that is because now we can cut this off. We're not going to ruin the pattern. So leaving the elastic there makes it super easy. Next time I want to make an A-line skirt, I just know attach that top piece. So this is the base for the bottom of your skirt. We're going to move this out of the way. Now we're going to use the top piece. I like to work with half of it, not the full length. So when I cut this piece, I am going to break down on this straight line. Let's get a straight line first. Let's move this over here so we don't lose it. Now always mark your patterns. A-line bottom, A-line top with elastic. You'll mark this A-line banded top. So if you want three inches, then remember you're actually going to need six plus seam allowance on both sides because you're going to fold that in half and that's how we're going to get that. You can make it bigger, you can make it eight inches, you can do whatever you want, whatever feels comfortable for you. Um, but I would definitely say stitch the first one together in a really loose stitch so you can try it on and easily take that out if you think that band's too high. So first, let's get a clean line here. And then we're going to mark this is on the fold. So cut 
unfold. Okay, now this line right here is straight. So I know that we can go six inches. Then I'm going to go down here and mark six inches. And then I'm going to go straight with that. Straight across. Now that just tells us that's how big this band is. But this is how big the band is finished. We have to add a seam allowance on both sides. Um, so the way to do that, if we're going with a half an inch, super easy because most rulers are one inch wide, then you can just zip that down like that. Now, let's say, we're going to say the waistline is 20 inches um, just because it makes it easy to calculate the math. Um, what you'll do is now you'll take that 20 inches, divide it in half, that's 10, uh, then that would be 10 inches. Nobody's waist really is 20 inches unless they're a little kid. So we're going to mark the 10 inch line, okay? And then let's make this as sure this is all evened up so I get a nice straight line. I'm going to mark it there. Now, once again, um, this is on the fold, so I'll, I'll cut one real quick for you just to show you how it works. So we're going to need a half an inch here for the seam allowance. So I'm going to write on here seam. Now on this you'll have a seam here and here. We've just allowed the space on this side because it was easier to make the pattern like that. Now let's cut this out real quick. If you forget the seam allowance, it means everything will be a little bit smaller. Now the reason you actually don't want to cut it at 20 inches if your waist is 20, because obviously then it would just probably slide right down. Depending on the fabric, it's all a little different how stretchy it is. Um, I usually deduct probably about three to four inches because I like a snug fit to it. The weight of the skirt's going to pull it down. So you'll want to play with it. I would cut this strip a little bit longer uh, the first time you do it. Feel the fabric, sew it together, and see. Will it support the weight of the fabric? But definitely don't make it the exact um, that your waist is. So let's cut out one just to show you how we cut this out and why we put it on the fold. Okay, so I'm going to fold this fabric. You want to make sure when you do cut something like this out that it's straight, not at an angle. So let's cut this where it says cut on fold. Cut this away. And so what we're going to do is you'll place this down right on the fold. And then you'll cut around it. Super easy to do. I don't like to use pins. I prefer to use weights. But remember, if you don't cut right next to your pattern, you're going to make the whole thing a little bit bigger. So basically, we've cut it on the fold, and then there you go. That would be the waistline. It would be sewn together here, then folded down, and then you would sew it onto the skirt. That creates a nice band. Super easy, super fun. You're going to wonder why you haven't been doing this all along. So just have fun with it and enjoy. Thank you for watching our video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure and click here to subscribe because we're going to have some amazing DIY videos coming out. And if you want to get our free, complete dance costume DIY guide, click right here or go to bedancewearcom slash DIY guide. And lastly, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching our video. And remember, be original, be colorful, be dancewear.com.